Waffle charts are like square pie charts. However, rather than values being represented by the size of a slice, they're represented by the number of colored areas. They're commonly found on dashboards and newspaper articles, probably because they're easy to read at a glance. So in this video, we're gonna look at how we can create a waffle chart in the easiest way possible. So if you're ready, let's get started. For this video, we're starting with a new workbook. However, if you want to download the completed workbook, you'll be able to find the links in the descriptions box below. So I've got my new workbook. I'm gonna start in cell C2, typing the word value. And then in cell C2, I'm going to type the value 36. So we want to represent 36 as a number on our waffle chart. Make them both bold, and then the number, let's make that a light gray fill with a border. Okay, now let's create a new worksheet. In cell A1, I'm going to type a formula, equals sort, open bracket, sequence, now for this example, I'm going to build a 10 by 10 grid, but you can use other sizes if you wish. So 10 rows, comma, 10 columns. I want to start at one, and I want to step one each time. I'll close the sequence function. That brings us back to our sort function. I don't need a sort index, but I do want to apply a sort order of minus one, which is descending. Then I can close that bracket and press return. This now creates an array of all the numbers from one up to 100. Now our row height for this at the moment is 38 pixels. Let's make our column width the same size. Fantastic, this is now the grid that we will use to build our waffle chart. In cell L1, I'm just going to cell link back to our original value of 36. I'm going to select all of the cells in the waffle area. I'll give them a light gray fill. I'll give them light gray text. And also let's apply a border. I want the thickest border. I want the color to be white. And I want that on the outside and the inside. And I'll click OK. There you go, we now have our waffle grid. But we need to create the colors so that we can represent the number of 36. So with all those cells selected from the home ribbon, I'll come across to conditional formatting and then select new rule. I want the second option, so format only cells that contain, and I want it where the cell value is between naught and my cell value of L1. Next, we need to apply the format that we want. In the fill section, I'll select light blue, and we also need to color the text to be the same as well. And we'll select the same light blue color. Then I'll click OK, OK. And there we have our waffle chart. You can see that we have 36 cells that have been completed and they represent the number of 36. So if I come back and change my value to 42, Again, our chart has increased in size to include 42 colored cells. Normally, when we create charts, they are objects that we can place anywhere we like on the worksheet. We can even resize them. Unfortunately here, this waffle is just colored cells on a grid. So that means we can't really use this worksheet anymore because nobody wants to use columns of this size. But what we can do is copy those cells We'll come back to our first worksheet. In the paste drop down, there is the option to paste linked picture. I'll select that and I'll place that onto the grid. I'll come to the view ribbon and then uncheck grid lines. So now if we change our value, you can see that our waffle chart still updates automatically. By changing the cell, changes the cell here, which changes the conditional formatting, which then changes our linked picture. It would be nice if our waffle had some form of KPI indicator, so a number that's included on the face of that chart. From the insert ribbon, I'll come to shapes and select the text box. I'll now draw a text box over the top of the waffle chart. 
Normally we type text into a text box, but actually if we click on the border of it, and come up into the formula bar, type equals, and then click on a cell, I've now referenced that into cell C2. So whenever the value changes, that means that that text box changes as well. And because it's a text box, we can format it however we like. So let's go for no fill. I'll select dark blue. Let's increase the size of that. We can center align it. And then let's just remove the border from that shape. Fantastic. And now when we change our value, not only does our waffle chart update, but our number updates as well. Well, that's it. That's an easy way for us to create waffle charts inside Excel. The key thing is that linked picture so that we can place that object wherever we like. However, there's one caveat, and that's the fact that if we try and use this method inside Excel Online, it doesn't work. Instead, it just gives us an error message. So this is a great easy method if we're using Excel Desktop, but if we're using Excel Online, we might need to look for an alternative method. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.